Hello everyone and welcome to Bedtime Stories. My name is Christy and my pronouns are she and her. I am so happy that you're joining me today. So today we're going to read three very special stories about things we can do in spring. The first story is there was an old lady who swallowed a frog. Our next story is Biscuit in the Garden. And it's about a little dog who finds out what you can do and what you can find in a garden. And our last story is Clifford's Spring Cleanup. It's about a much bigger dog who tries to do some helpful things in spring to take care of his neighborhood. So grab a blanket and curl up and let's get started. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog by Lucille Calandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. For Rita, who loves to garden, and all our future blossoms, Annabelle, Hattie, Garzy, Kate, Lynn, Roberta, and Violet, and to Jenny Berberich. There was an old lady who swallowed a frog. Ribbit. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. Gulp. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed some dirt. It didn't hurt to swallow that dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. She was in a fog. Vroom, bump. There was an old lady who swallowed some seeds. At high speeds, she swallowed the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed the rain. <laughs> what did she gain by swallowing the rain? She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed the sunlight. <sighs> it was so fun, right? To swallow the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. Ribbit. Ribbit. There was an old lady who swallowed some gloves. Oh, how she loves to swallow her gloves. She swallowed the gloves to hold the sunlight. She swallowed the sunlight to dry up the rain. She swallowed the rain to water the seeds. She swallowed the seeds to fill in the dirt. She swallowed the dirt to hide the frog. I don't know why she swallowed the frog. She was in a fog. There was an old lady who swallowed a rake. It was a mistake to swallow that rake. Burp. So the old lady said, Excuse me, I beg your pardon. And out spilled <laughs> a colorful garden. Ribbit. Happy spring. Ribbit.
Ribbit. Biscuit in the Garden by Alyssa Satin Capuccilli and pictures by Pat Shores. For Huckleberry, who loves the garden most of all, and for our wonderful editor, Anne Hope. Come along, Biscuit! It's time to visit the garden. Ruff, ruff. The garden is filled with so many things, Biscuit! Ruff, ruff. Just look at all the flowers and plants. Ruff, ruff. You found a butterfly, Biscuit! You found a worm, too! Ruff. Silly puppy, don't dig now! Ruff, ruff. Oh, Biscuit, you found a little bird. Is the little bird hungry? Ruff, ruff. Tweet! Let's feed the bird, Biscuit! Wait, Biscuit, what do you see? Ruff. Two more little birds. Tweet, tweet. Here, little birds. Here is some bird seed. Ruff. Ruff. Come along, Biscuit. There's lots more to see. Oh, no, Biscuit, not the bird seed. <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. <gasps> Just look at all the birds now. Ruff, ruff. The garden is filled with so many things, Biscuit. But you filled the garden with lots of birds, too. Tweet, tweet. Ruff. Ruff. <laughs> Breathe Like a Bear by Kira Willey and illustrated by Annie Betts. Breathe Like a Bear. For the children of Donegan Elementary School, who always greet me with hugs and smiling faces. Be calm. Do you ever feel a little, well, hyper? Like you've got ants in your pants? It can be really hard to calm down sometimes. This exercise is easy and fun, and it will help you to settle your mind and your body so you can feel calm and peaceful. You can do it as many times as you like. And you can even try it with your eyes closed. Before you start, sit up tall and hold your body still. <sighs> flower breath. Imagine a flower in front of you. It's the most beautiful flower you've ever seen. Can you see all the colors of the flower in your mind? Imagine how it smells. Take a long sniff in through your nose and let the air all the way out through your mouth. <sighs> Take another long sniff in through your nose and let all the air out through your mouth. <sighs> Take another long breath in and let it all the way out. <sighs> Remember, when you feel tired, grumpy, jumpy, or happy, you can always be mindful. Being mindful just means stopping for a minute to pay attention to what's going on inside of you. And there are lots of fun ways that you can do it. You can imagine you're a cloud, stretch like a kitty cat, or breathe like a bear.
Clifford's Spring Cleanup by Norman Bridwell. For the next generation, Allison, Sophie, Michael, Beatrice, and Raphael, Ashley's Alexander and Emma Rose, Carolyn, Sam, Emily's Alyssa, and Melissa's Henry and Natalie. Happy spring! I'm Emily Elizabeth. At our house, it's time for spring cleaning again. Last year, the whole family worked hard. Even my big red dog, Clifford. My first job was to hang some rugs out to air. Clifford wanted to help. He took a rug outside and gave it a good shaking. I guess he shook a little too hard. Mom said that we might as well wax the living room floor as long as the rug was up. Mommy and Daddy started to move the furniture outside. When Clifford saw the couch, his eyes lit up. He used to curl up on it when he was a small puppy. Crunch! He didn't fit on it anymore. Good thing the couch was so old. Daddy was going to get a new one anyway. There was still a lot of spring cleaning to do. Clifford cleaned the windows all by himself. First he washed them, and then he dried them. Mommy didn't think Clifford's method worked very well. Yuck! So we washed the windows again. Poor Daddy. He had to rake the yard. It looked as if it would take him all day. But not with Clifford's help. <gasps> Just then, some of my friends came by. They asked me to help them clean up the vacant lot on the corner. It was their Earth Day project. Clifford did his part for Earth Day. Then we planted a beautiful garden. On the way home, Clifford and I saw some people working on another Earth Day project. Wet paint. Clifford gave them a hand. Er, a tail. Back at home, there was another job to do. Clifford's house needed some spring cleaning, too. He swept out his old bones and tossed out his collection of rubber toys. It made quite a large pile. Somehow, Clifford got it all into the garbage truck. Much to the surprise of the driver. Ah! Now both of our houses were neat and clean. It was a good day's work. On April 22nd, we celebrate Earth Day. It's a time to do something special for your neighborhood. Clean up a yard or a sidewalk. Plant some flowers, write a poem, or sing a song about the wonderful plants and animals nature has given us. Make every day Earth Day. Thank you for joining us for Bedtime Stories. Good night!